What's going on guys? Jordan here with Universal. Uh, this is gonna be part one of a four part series of looking to improve shoulder function. The first one we're gonna focus on today is improving thoracic extension. So your thoracic spine is gonna be what dictates your ability for your shoulder to function. The drill we're gonna go over today is just a child's pose with a PVC. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go kind of in a quadruped position, uh, all fours in front of a bench. We're gonna grab a dowel or some sort of fixed uh, bar and then as you sit back into that position, we wanna make sure we're flexing the biceps, trying to drop the head between the plane of the bench, and making sure we're getting that extension from the thoracic spine and not hyperextending the lower back. Now, this is a stretch you can hold for 30, 45, uh, 60 seconds, up to a minute and a half. Just staying in this position, trying to revert the posture that you're in all day. Um, this is gonna be done pre-workout, kind of in conjunction with more dynamic movements. What's going on guys? Jordan here with Universal, back with the second video in a four part series about improving shoulder function. We're gonna look to strengthen and improve scapular retraction and depression. One variation that we're gonna go through is a face pull variation where we're pulling uh, the cable straight over our head rather than pulling it right into the bridge of the nose. So the face pull by definition, by name, is gonna pull right into our face, but that just works through one axis of the shoulder motion. That just works through retraction and protraction of the scapula where we wanna make sure that we're training both. So we have that increased thoracic extension. We're gonna start with an internally rotated shoulder, protract and elevate, and then as we bring overhead, we're gonna retract and depress the shoulder blade. So this is gonna be something that helps strengthen the muscles that are gonna retain that position of thoracic extension that we trained in the previous video. So this is a really good tool, something that you can put in as a part of your warm up to help improve your position while you're lifting. What's going on guys? Jordan here with Universal, back with the third part of a four part shoulder series about improving shoulder function. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try and inhibit or stretch the muscles that are gonna keep us in this shortened position. So the first one that we're gonna address or the primary one that we're gonna address is the lats. So this stretch that we're gonna hold is it has, it's commonly done, but the one thing we're gonna focus on is the position of the hand, is that's gonna be expressive of the position of the shoulder. So anytime that we're gonna be supinating the wrist, we're gonna be introducing external rotation from the shoulder joint, and that's gonna be integral to stretching lats, which are our primary internal rotators, which can keep us in that bad position. So we're gonna kind of hook underneath um, a bench or a bar, anything that's kind of st solid or sturdy, and we're gonna make sure we're doing so with the express intent of holding onto that bar with a supinated grip, but as that supination expresses that external rotation of the shoulder, then from there we're gonna hang on, we're gonna sit back and we're gonna throw that hip away. The lats attach in from the humerus into the spine, but also into the pelvis. So as you'll notice, I'm gonna to start to rotate my pelvis away. That's gonna help add a deeper stretch into the lats. A static stretch like this, you can hold for 30, 45, up to a minute and a half. As long as it's done in conjunction pre-workout with more um, dynamic movements and then in conjunction with a primary lift. So making that sort of transient change in perception of length of the lats is gonna help improve that internal rotation from the shoulder. What's going on guys? Jordan here with Universal, here with the last of our four part shoulder dysfunction series. Uh, today we're gonna go over an exercise to sort of bring everything together that we've done in videos past. So what you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna kinda keep the elbow under the wrist, everything in a straight line from the top of the kettlebell to the bottom of the elbow, and we're gonna try and keep that in that position the entire time. So that's gonna force us to tuck the shoulder blade underneath as we press up to make sure we stay in line and stay stable. And we're gonna try and keep that range of motion tucked in the entire time. 
open up at the top. So we're gonna internally rotate at the top. So with the express intent of initiating that movement with external rotation. So try and get those joints in line as quickly as possible. This is a skill. So you wanna make sure that you're loading it with a little bit more reps. because We're not worried about building strength. We're worried about progressing in stability. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below.